Hello, today we're going to talk about something which is very, very important for uh, many of the guys with endometriosis and not only because uh, barium cyst is something what probably majority of us will uh, encounter in our lives on one point or another. So it's very important that we know how to help our body to heal and what to do and uh, which things actually to take to the consideration, okay? So let's start. Uh, and I want you to know that actually ovarian cysts are kind of normal. Majority of women will get them anyway. And premenstrual women are the highest risk of developing them. And only 50% of the women uh, who are after menopause will probably get them as well. So as you can see, the majority of the women who are, uh, you know, in the re reproductive uh, ages, are more likely to get them. And cyst is the fluid uh, filled sac within the ovary. So as you can see uh, on the left, you've got the normal ovary and on the right, you've got the ovary with a cyst. So you can see the different. And it's filled with a liquid. So I want you to know that if you've got like very big cysts, uh, this liquid will probably eventually burst. And what that means, it means that all of these nasty things which is inside is going to float all your organs and it's just very, very nasty. It has to be disinfected and it has to be dealt with. So uh, if you've got the very large cyst and thinking uh, to shrink them naturally, I'm very sorry, but I think it's going to be better when you uh, remove them uh, in the surgery because they probably gonna burst and i i know uh, from my own experience how painful is this and i want you to avoid this pain by all costs so seriously please take this to consideration you know like from sister to sister <laughs> so the facts about cysts which you need to know you can have them without knowing it. Yes, because many cysts are actually symptoms free. So you don't even know that you're going to have them. You don't know. I might have them. I don't know. I don't feel any pain, but it it doesn't really mean that I might not have them. Do you know what I mean? Majority of the women will grow cysts in their life and they might disappear in the next menstrual cycle, which is very important because it's a proof that you actually can heal them naturally. Your body can absorb them and heal them naturally if they are very small. And I'm sure you notice when you go to your um, gynecologist and he discovered the uh, cyst and when the cyst is small, he very likely going to send you home and told you to come back uh, in next menstrual cycle because he knows that the majority of the cysts actually, you know, uh, basically can heal themselves. And your body can get rid of them naturally. So it's absolutely natural. So what are the symptoms of the ovarian cyst? Bloating and abdominal pain. So you, you can feel like very sharp pain. Irregular periods and the spotting between the periods. And frequent urination, fatigue and the weight gain. And as you can see, those symptoms are very, very similar to the symptoms of endometriosis. And the girls with endometriosis are very likely to have a because as you can see here where you've got the breakdown of the causes of the ovarian cyst number one is hormonal imbalance so that means the est excess estrogen which we and the girls have this one actually can affect and uh, contribute to your uh, cyst grow so that's very very uh, important another uh, causes is a smoking uh, BMI more than 30 a uh, hyperthyroid and the coffee and the reason why i put a question mark in the coffee is because uh, there is the only one research which actually link uh, ovarian cyst with the coffee but this needs to be investigated further and it's been questioned uh, by uh, many uh, many people many so-called experts but i'm taking this with a pinch of salt because i know that actually coffee lobby is a very very powerful lobby so they may do everything to suppress this uh, specific study but anyone who knows um my youtube channel and anyone who knows uh, the video when i talk about endometriosis and coffee and specifically uh where, where i showed you this research knows that 
this actually can play the factor. So that's why I included this on the ovarian cyst causes. Another very important uh, thing uh, when it comes to ovarian uh, cysts is the fact that we can get rid of them naturally when they are very small and we can absolutely prevent them. So there are some uh, home remedies you should try uh, which uh, help you with shrinking cysts and also with preventing a formation of the cysts. Okay, and it's very important uh, for you to understand that uh, before you get to any of these natural treatments, you should discuss this with your doctor. Why is that? Because if you got endometriosis, it's very likely that you are on some kind of medicines uh, and uh, some kind of herbs can actually uh, react with the medicine causing uh, side effects. So it's very important that you actually discuss this with your doctor. Just be very, you know, open and just say, I'm trying uh, natural remedies and is that okay? And is that not going to contradict with the medicines I'm taking? So just let you know. Okay. So number one is Epsom salt bath which is good for the pain relief. It's very, very high with magnesium and it has relaxing effect on the muscles. So it means it's easy, uh, is your cramps and is just basically the pain relief. And what you do with the salt, you basically uh, soak it, you know, with a water and you just have a bath. It's nice, it uh, smells beautiful, and I really, really recommend it. Another one, which is a uh, holy grail when it comes to shrinking this naturally, which is apple cider vinegar. Uh, and it can eliminate and dissolve cysts resulted from the lack of potassium. So what you do with this uh, apple cider vinegar, you just don't drink it from the bottle like this, no girl. You're just taking a little bit on the cup and dissolve it with water. I'm doing this all the time. Uh, I'm drinking apple cider vinegar every day and I love it. And I think it's uh, one of the best things which you can introduce in your uh, lifestyle. And it's my like secret anti-inflammatory biohack as well. And the cyst prevention, of course, and the cyst prevention. Another one very important thing uh, you can try to uh, get rid of your cyst is the heat. Putting basically like very heating uh, a compress around uh, your belly. And we girls with endometriosis, we know that because it's our, <laughs> it's our go-to for many, many of us. Easing the muscles and the cramp relief. So that's the heat, try the heating fats. Uh, try to decrease estrogen because as I said, the uh, cysts are formed when there is the hormone imbalance. So uh, go and try anti-inflammatory diet, make it your lifestyle and just focus on your liver. So your liver actually can uh, work e efficiently, efficiently and it can detoxify and it can flush out all this es uh, excess estrogen. So that's very important. Uh, add also water because it's essential essential when it comes to detoxifying your body from toxins and excess hormones. The water actually helps your liver very, very much. So try to uh, drink more water. Another very important uh, thing which you should uh, add to your uh, prevention and uh, cyst drinking uh, this shrinking thing is the castor oil basically it helps removing excess toxins from the body and encourage your circulation and lymphatic system and as a result you can prevent or even treat ovarian cysts efficiently so the castor oil is another holy grail of the shrinking cysts and prevention you can also uh, add some beetroots which uh, prevent and uh, play some role with the shrinking of the cyst because it's contribute to the toxin removal and has alkaline quality. Restores the balance of acidity that helps with preventing and shrinking ovarian cysts. So um, basically one glass of the beetroot juice every day, I think would do a miracle. Uh, you can add some anti-inflammatory spices which are uh, amazing uh, to add to our anti-inflammatory diet, which is the ginger, turmeric, garlic, 
Uh, I actually uh, using ginger for the tea. I use turmeric to basically sprinkle all everything what I'm eating, and I use garlic for the cooking. This is how how I incorporate all of them in my daily routine. When to try natural shrinking methods and when to go for the surgery. This is very important. So uh, as you remember, I mentioned the medicines. If you're already taking some medicines, consult your doctor before taking any natural treatment road because the herbs combined with your medicines might have caused some side effects. This is very, very important, okay? You have to consider the size because the smaller cyst can be shrinked naturally quicker. It doesn't mean that the bigger cyst cannot be shrinked at all, but you have to uh, have you have to put into consideration the side effects. Uh, consider the side effects not only of the surgery, but what will happen if you actually leave the big cysts and this big cyst burst. That can cause, you know, like internal bleeding, that can cause some infection. So I really, really want you to take these things into consideration, okay? So I hope that the video helped. And if you've got any question, please just hit me on the uh, email. I'm going to add the email uh, below this video so you can hit me in the any comments you might have, any question you might have. And as always, I will see you shortly. Bye.